The company Lefit has been in the compact underwater scooter game since the very beginning and is just now releasing their latest and greatest underwater scooter so far, the Lefit P1. Let's have a look into the successor of their very popular Lefit S1 Pro underwater scooter in today's video, right after the intro. Hey there around the water enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Great to have you back with me for today's review video. About two years ago I was able to review Lefit's S1 Pro underwater scooter and was blown away by the power, versatility and compactness of this revolutionary product. Ever since I've used my pair of S1 Pros a ton in a variety of different situations whether that was just for fun or as a propulsion tool for my big camera rig. When the folks at Lefit reached out to me a few weeks ago and told me, back then in secret, that they're just about to release a new underwater scooter and whether I was interested in testing and reviewing it here on the channel for you guys, I jumped instantly at that opportunity. Especially when they told me that the new model was going to be more powerful and even smaller than the existing S1 Pro. I was intrigued and couldn't wait to get my hands onto this new, sleek looking underwater scooter. So in full disclosure I did not pay for this set of P1 underwater scooters. Lefit sent me these two prototypes for testing and for creating this review here on my channel for you guys. Even though Lefit is supplying the scooters for the review, they will not see the finished review video before it gets officially published here on my channel. Also, they don't have any influence as to what I'm talking about in this review video and what I'm saying about their new P1 underwater scooter. All the opinions expressed in today's video are my very own ones and they are solely based on my personal experiences using these already very complete and mature prototypes of the Lefit P1 underwater scooter. With this out of the way, let's get back to today's video. The review today will be, as always, divided into three main parts. Firstly, we'll look at all the features of the Lefit P1 underwater scooter. In the second section, I'll talk about the things that I really like about the P1 and also about the areas that I think need some improvement. And last but not least, in section number three, I'll share with you my personal opinion as to who I think this underwater scooter is made for. Ready? Let's dive right into it. The Lefit P1 is made from a main unit which holds the propeller as well as all the electronics, a battery which gets screwed onto the main unit and a dual handle tray which gets attached on top of the main unit and which is used to control the scooter. It is a completely modular design that doesn't require any tools to be set up. The P1 comes with two different battery sizes, the smaller 100 watt hour battery and a larger 160 watt hour battery. The numerous features the P1 is equipped with partly depend on which battery you connect to the main unit. The Lefit P1 is made from hard anodized aluminum and makes a very sleek, robust and high quality impression, not just on first sight, but also when used in the water. The entire unit weighs as little as 2.3 kilograms when used with the smaller 100 watt hour battery. Being this lightweight makes it great for traveling, also because of its compact size of 80 times 314.5 times 87.5 millimeters. Each unit is equipped with an OLED screen, 
showing you the power status of the attached battery as well as the speed level you're currently in. The smaller battery comes with four different speed levels. The larger battery comes with an extra hurricane mode, making it a total of five different speed levels. Speed level 5 will propel you through the water at 2.3 meters per second, which equals 6 miles per hour. This is the fastest on such a small and compact unit that I have seen to date. But even on the lowest speed level, the Lefit P1 is easily capable of pulling a fully rigged up scuba diver through the water. I was wearing a heavy dry suit while testing and the P1 wasn't struggling at all to pull me through the water even at speed level 1. Quite impressive. According to Lefit, a fully charged battery will last up to 90 minutes. The battery can be charged using a standard USB Type-C cable and it is also supporting fast charging. Additionally, the batteries are equipped with the so-called reverse charging technology. This means that you can use a charged battery as kind of a power bank and use it to recharge, for example, your smartphone, your tablet or even your laptop while traveling. Talking about traveling, Lefit says that both battery types are compliant with international air travel regulations, meaning that you can pack them into your carry-on luggage. Another really cool thing is the action cam mount that you can very quickly and easily attach to the scooter. The Lefit P1 is waterproof down to 60 meters. I even heard that Lefit has tested this scooter all the way down to 100 meters depth and even down there it was working flawlessly. Not that many of us will ever go down to that depth, but it is nice to know that you do have some leeway. I really like that the control handle works wirelessly with the main unit. This means that there are no cables hanging off the unit. But it also means that you can use one control handle only to trigger more than one unit. An awesome feature if you want to use two units at the same time for even more power or prolonged run times. The P1 has the option to be used with a variety of different accessories like for example a tank or leg mount. These are easily set up and work with the same quick attachment system as the action cam mount. This modular design has a lot of potential in my opinion and I'm really looking forward to seeing what other cool accessories Lefit will introduce in the future. The Lefit P1 will set you back 1299 US dollars if you go for the smaller 100 watt hour battery. It will cost you 1499 if you go for the larger more powerful 160 watt hour battery. But there is a way how you can get a massive discount of 40%. Stay with me until the end to hear how you can claim this incredible discount. There is quite a few things that I like about the new Lefit P1 underwater scooter. It is super powerful, especially when used with the larger 160 watt hour battery. Yet small, compact and lightweight. If you look at these comparison clips, you can see how much faster the new P1 is in both speed levels 4 and 5 compared to the existing Lefit S1 Pro. Not that the S1 Pro is slow or weak by any means, but it just shows you how incredibly powerful and fast the new P1 is, setting new standards for compact underwater scooters. I love the clean, modern and somehow futuristic design of the P1. It kind of reminds me of something that might appear in a James Bond movie. The wireless remote is awesome and very easy and intuitive to use. The pairing to several units is simple, quick and reliable. One of my favorite things is that you can charge the Lefit P1's batteries using a standard USB Type-C cable. No specific huge charges are needed anymore and this is a big deal for me when it comes to traveling. 
because now you can use let's say the charger of your macbook which you'll have with you anyways and that's gonna save you some weight and some space in your luggage great improvement there Leffitt. i really love this and not to forget the reverse charging capabilities of the batteries also great for traveling as i don't need to bring any additional power banks with me I can use the P1 batteries as such power banks to charge my iPhone or MacBook while on the go. And last but not least, I want to mention the completely modular design, which gives you so many options on how to use your Lefit P1. Whether that is as a single unit, a dual unit for extra power and endurance, attached to your tank so you can keep your hands free or using the leg mounts to fly through the water kind of like Aquaman. And come on, who doesn't want to be like Aquaman? The possibilities are countless and not limited to scuba diving, free diving or snorkeling at all. The P1 can also be combined with for example SUPs or hydrofoils. Besides all the praise for the P1, there are still a few areas where I think it might need some further improvements. These are all really minor things, but I think it makes sense to mention them here anyways. The area in which I would like to see an improvement most is the way the P1 accelerates and stops. At the moment, the P1 has a very abrupt start-stop mechanism meaning that when you press down on the acceleration lever on the handle, the unit doesn't ease into the movement, but the propeller just jumps into action and abruptly starts the unit. The same happens when you let go of that lever, it doesn't ease out slowly, but suddenly stop. This might be just fine for most situations, but if you have a camera, mounted on your P1 and want to ease into or out of a dolly shot, this is not ideal. But I've heard that Lefit is already working on a solution and I'm curious to find out more soon. The new OLED screen is nice and really easy to read even underwater. Nevertheless, I would have liked to have the remaining battery life shown in percent rather than with the five battery bars. I think it would be just a more accurate way of showing you the remaining battery life that you have left. It's not a big deal, but a nice to have feature. And lastly, having an option of seeing the power level that you're currently in on the remote, on the handle itself, would be really useful in those situations where you have the main unit strapped to your tank or to your legs and you can't physically see the OLED display uh, while you're using the units. So who is the new Lefit P1 underwater scooter for? Well, generally speaking, for all water-loving people wanting an easy-to-use, hassle-free, versatile and really fun piece of underwater sports equipment. More specific, water sports enthusiasts who want the most powerful, compact underwater scooter available will instantly fall in love with the Lefit P1. And of course, scuba divers who want to make use of the long-lasting battery and the versatility of the P1 to, for example, use it as a propulsion vehicle for their underwater cameras or to help them with long underwater or even surface swims, conserving energy and even making certain dives possible that wouldn't be otherwise. Lefit has just started a Kickstarter campaign for their new P1 underwater scooter last week. Until the beginning of April, you can help them achieve their funding goal and in exchange you will get a 40% discount on the regular prices for a P1 underwater scooter. That is a crazy good deal if you're asking me. Follow the link down in the video description below to learn more about the P1 underwater scooter and the Kickstarter campaign and to get yours during the Kickstarter period. And there you have it guys, the brand new Lefit P1 underwater scooter. I hope today's review video was useful to you. 
Any questions? Leave them down in the comment section below. And let me know if you want me to do any specific tests in the future using my two Lefit P1s. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more underwater video related content. Have a great week guys. Keep capturing all those amazing underwater adventures of yours and I will see you in the next one.